To effectively manage the issues you've identified in your project, you can utilize the defect tracking system. Within CASE, there are two methods for creating defects. The first method is through direct creation from the defect section. If you encounter an issue or a bug, you can promptly log it as a defect within the defect section of your project. These issues won't be associated with any specific test case or test run, as they are logged independently. Here's how to proceed. Click Create New Defect. Complete all mandatory fields. Once finished, click Create Defect. Defects generated during a test run can also be linked to pre-existing defects created manually. I'll illustrate this during our exploration of the second option, accessible from the test run section. This feature proves beneficial when you're already aware of potential issues even before initiating any test runs, allowing you to document them proactively. The second method is by creating defects from a test run. Here's how. Navigate to any of your test runs. Assign a status, for example, failed, blocked, invalid, or any custom status of a failure type. A modal window will appear with the option to create or attach a defect. If this setting is enabled in the Test Run tab of your project settings, it will already be selected. Click Add Result. As mentioned earlier, you can choose to create a new defect or select from existing ones. Optionally, you can integrate with the third-party apps installed in your workspace. Click Add Defect to create the defect. You can choose to create additional defects by ticking the Create Another Defect box. Defects can be managed from both the Defects tab within a test run and the Defects section of your project. Viewing defects from the Defects tab shows only those associated with that particular run, while accessing the project's Defect section displays all defects within the project. You can search, filter, and sort defects based on various criteria. Clicking on a defect provides detailed information such as the associated test run and test case, reporter details, current status, links with apps, and more. To link the defect to a third-party app, click Select Apps and pick an app of your choice. Then proceed to linking the defect to an existing issue. Additionally, you can modify the defect's status, assignee, and add comments. For more adjustments, select Edit which directs you to another screen where you can update the defect's title, add the actual result, attach files, and finalize changes by updating the defect. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.